What's going on, YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 back at y'all with another video. If you're new to the channel, new to our channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Like and share video. Woo wee. Hope everybody's alright. Hope everybody's doing okay. If you're new, uh, right now, if you're going through a bad patch in your life, you're frustrated, you're aggravated, please make sure you stay motivated, you guys. Don't give up the faith. Jesus love you. Turn your cat. Oh, excuse me. Cast your cares upon Jesus because he care about you and he loves you. No matter how difficult life gets and everything, never throw in the towel. Keep fighting to the end. God got a blessing for you at the end. If you just lost a loved one and everything, or if you just came out of a bad relationship, you're feeling depressed, you're feeling frustrated, you're feeling angry, whatever negative emotion you feel and everything, turn it over to Jesus. He will bless you. He will bring you uh, through the situation and everything. You'll come out better. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you guys. If you're first time tuning in and everything, and you've heard, you know, may or may not heard something about my channel and everything, please understand some I talk about real shit on this channel. I talk about relevant stuff in people's lives. I talk about stuff and everything that people can use in everyday life. I'm not here for gossip. I'm not here to talk about celebrities. I'm not here to talk about none of that shit. I'm here to help you and challenge you to be a better man or a better woman. I ain't here to put you down, I ain't here to low grade you, I ain't here to downgrade you, I ain't here to uh, make fun of you, I ain't here to dog you, I ain't here to do no negative thing, all I want to do is challenge you, you know, to be a better person, better whether that's a man or woman. Alright you guys, real quick, uh, the title of today's sub uh, subject is called Unhealthy Soul Ties, I repeat, Unhealthy Soul Ties. Let me explain something to you guys and everything. We're going to keep this more for adults and everything. Well, nowadays, you got to keep it for kids, too. So, I might as well just say this is for everybody. But, uh, this is pretty much for everybody. It's pretty much everybody, you know. Well, not everybody. This one's who apply to. I'll put it that way. Let me explain something to y'all. This life, you guys, and everything, as I always say, is short. But you can make your life a lot shorter and a lot and a lot more miserable, uh, depending on decisions you make. Please understand some, you guys. God's plan for humanity, His originally plan and everything, was a man and woman to get married, have kids, you know, pretty much reproduce, and everything, and have offspring, you know, live a beautiful life. Of course, Satan had to get in there and screw that up like he always do. But I'm telling you guys this. Watch who you sleep around with. Watch the, all the people you done been in bed with, you done mess with and everything. And I'm keeping it real here. I'm keeping it 100 here and everything. I ain't no virgin myself. So I'm not sitting here acting holier than thou. You know that's not how I roll. But I've been with very few people in life. Not a bunch of people, very few people. It ain't because and everything that I'm... Oh, you can't get no girl, you can't get none and all that. No, 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 no. What profited me and everything to sleep with this woman, sleep with that woman and everything, if you have no intentions on staying with the woman? If you just want a damn booty call and everything, what, what benefit are you getting that? Okay, the sex is over and everything, but you still have a piece of that person left in you. And they got a piece of them left in, left, a piece of you left in them. Please understand something. If you wonder why you're picking up certain tendencies or certain issues or certain problems and everything, it might have to be with the person you sleep with or you didn't slept with. Please understand something, you guys. I'm being keeping this real. We all adults here. And for the kids who want to try to act like they're adults and everything, it's going to apply to your ass too and everything. Sex is a beautiful thing. I'm keeping shit real. Sex is a beautiful thing. The hell, that's all we, how we all got here. Okay? That is how we got here. Your mom and dad had to have sex in order for you to get here. My mom and dad had to have sex when I, in order for me to get here. Okay? When the penis entered the vagina and they doing their thing. I'm mean, keeping it real here and everything. They doing their thing and all that. And everything. The dad uh, ejaculate. Sperm get on. Uh, go something. Uh, finds the egg and everything. Fertilize it. Voila. Now she's pregnant. Please understand some of you guys. For my people who think they got real, uh, you know, they have good pull-out game, 
you know, you just like the pleasure of sex, but not the responsibility of sex and everything. That's going to end up catching your ass down the road. Okay, your pull out game and all that old crazy shit people be talking about and everything. That shit ain't what you think it is. Okay, because you're going to be messing around one day, enjoying yourself a little bit too much. And you're going to forget to pull out. And then all this talking about birth control and all this and everything, let me explain something to you. If you don't want to get pregnant, keep your legs closed. If you don't want to get pregnant, keep your dress down. If you don't want to impregnate somebody to keep your pants zipped up, quit cheating the process of sex. Quit doing that. You want all the pleasures of sex, but you don't want the responsibility of sex. That's probably why it's and everything. A lot of people, well, when they're in a relationship, a relationship is fine, but as soon as a, a woman get pregnant, now responsibility kick in. Now he he or she don't want no no don't want no no uh, dealings with that. That's wrong. Too many of us cheat the pleasure of sex and everything. We cheat it. What I mean is and everything. Like I said, we want the pleasure of it. But we want the responsibility. Of it. It, sex comes responsibility, y'all. It comes responsibility. Okay, you got to be careful who you sleep with. For all you know, they think they could have a sexually transmitted disease. They could have AIDS, could have uh, HIV, could have anything. And you sitting up there and, you know, overwhelmed and everything about how beautiful she is or how handsome he is and everything. You got to understand, so I'm keeping shit real and everything. People going both ways nowadays. You got dudes sitting up here uh, screwing other dudes and women sitting up here screwing other women. Some sick shit, I know. Some sick shit. But they, but America think there's nothing wrong with it. They think what's the problem? They think because they a stud, they go get a damn come on a damn strap on and all that. That's some sick foul shit. Yeah, I said it's some sick foul shit. God made sex for man and woman only, particularly a married. But for some reason, everything don't nobody want to get married no more. The new thing now, they're talking about some bullshit, modern-day people and everything. You always oh, 2022 20, and everything. In other words, I can have the family. I can have the uh, kids and everything, but I don't need to get married. When you, at least understand, let me, understand, let me tell you uh, men something today. If you care anything about that woman, if, if what she got between your legs and everything, you enjoy and is, is a beautiful feeling to you, put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. Make the world, let the world know and everything that this is my angel, this is my wife. Because when you don't put a ring on it and everything, what you're telling this world and everything, this ain't number some woman I just sleep with. I know that may sound cold. I know you may say, well, I don't, know. I don't look at my girl like that. Why don't you marry her? I'm not pressuring you to do anything. Like I said, you ain't got to do nothing I'm telling you. I'm just trying to give you facts to help you better yourself as a person. Sex is a beautiful thing. I'm telling you from experience and everything. But I'm telling you and everything, especially the stage I'm at now, I ain't, I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't fooled with a bunch of women. I got a very, very short, short uh, supply of women I fool with. I'm keeping it real with you. But I'm telling you is and everything, sex is not everything. Okay? Sex is not everything. You got to be careful who you sleep with because when you keep sleeping with all just because just you can, you got dudes and everything, go to the clubs every week, find a new woman to sleep with. Did you mess around and get her pregnant? Or you mess around and everything, wake up in the morning, what about your ass itching down there? I'm just keeping shit real and everything. Before you, I'm going to tell you as a man, before you get on top of a woman, make sure God ordained that woman for you. And ladies, before you let a man get on top of you, make sure God ordained that man for you. And some else, ladies. If you care anything about the man that you're sleeping with, if y'all got kids and everything, you make him marry you. In other words, and everything, don't just allow him to get the benefits of having you, of having sex with you and having pleasure with you without of making it official. Make it official. Put some respect on it. People run around here, this little goofy ass TikTok, put some respect on my name. Put some respect. Bullshit. Respect ain't given. Respect is earned. If you, if a woman love you enough and everything and care about you enough to open her legs and everything, you should care about her enough to open your wallet and go get her a ring and marry her. I'm just keeping shit real and everything. I can't keep it no real, no real. But I'm just telling you and everything. If you, sex and everything is a beautiful thing. It was primarily made for husband and wife. 
but a lot of people and everything have turned perverted. A lot of people have turned uh, damn near disgusting now. You got niggas running around here getting sex dolls. Niggas running around here getting strap-ons. Niggas running around screwing the same damn sex. Niggas running around here getting sex toys and all this sick shit and everything. Hell no. I ain't doing no foul shit like that. Talking about threesomes and foursomes and game bang, all this crazy shit and everything. Nobody doing all that. The hell I need another nigga sitting up there talking about we doing a threesome. We getting this girl. Nigga, what's wrong with you? I mean, so, well, first of all, I ain't getting butt naked in, in no room. There's no man there anyway. Nobody get no butt. I ain't finna get no uh, get butt ass naked in no damn man in there. What's wrong with you? And they talking about videotaping and sex tapes and all that. What the hell you need to advertise what your body look like? That's between you and your wife or your husband. I'm just keeping shit real with you. You got people with this damn only fans and shit and everything. You got people making money. Or putting their body out on the internet in order to get paid. You tell me where's the respect at. Do you respect yourself or not? But yet you get mad at a man or you get mad at a woman when they disrespect you. You see the pig got your ass showed out on TV. For the whole world to see. Because you getting money from it. Don't sell your body for money. Men and women. Don't sell your body for money. Because the only thing you're doing and everything is just prostituting yourself, but just in a different style. You ain't got to do that, y'all. Get yourself together out here. Have some respect about yourself. Like I said, for my men, if you love that woman that you with, if you care anything about her, first of all, take time to know her. Make sure this is somebody you want to talk about having a family with and being married to build a future with. It's, I'm going to tell you how deep this is. This for men and women. I'm going to tell you how deep this is. The more and more y'all keep laying there screwing each other, it's the equivalent of you not having a job, but getting the benefits of having a job. It's like you getting paid without clocking in. And to me and everything, as a man, I would feel like we're doing a woman a disservice and a disrespectful if I'm sitting up here laying up with her, or as they say, shacking up with her and don't get married. No one's pressuring you to marry and everything marry nobody but damn it why I keep screwing each other hell y'all doing what married people do y'all making kids living life going to work and ain't got a stitch of marriage and you and everything you can't do that God word don't lie he said not to fornicate and he said not to commit adultery I keep it real with you and everything I can say I ain't no virgin I have uh, I said, you know been with some girls I fornicate I don't do that like I said I took a step back from that but I'm telling you, I have. I'm not like again. I'm not acting up here talking to you like I'm Mr. Holier than thou. But I'm telling you and everything. It's best you wait on God, and that's what I've been doing these last two, three years. Wait on God to give you that right person. He knows what you need, and we're gonna keep shit real. God knows what you need in your bank account as a man and a woman. He know what you need as far as career. He know what you need as far as your personality, your relationship with Him far more important than anything. And He also know what you need in the bedroom. If you, we're going to keep shit real here, we grown. If you a type of man and you like to be nasty and everything and freaky and wild and all that, pray and ask God to send you that. I know you may think that's crazy, but he will send you just that kind of woman because he knows you. If you're a woman, you like to get wild and freaky up and up. To me, I think everybody got a sense of freakiness, freakiness in them. I'm just keeping shit real. But if you like to get wild like that and everything, go Go search for that type of woman. Go ask God for that type of woman or that type of man. If you got a strong sex drive, you like to go two or three times in a day, hell, go find a person. Everything they got, go find a person. You know, like I said, go ask God to find a person like that, you know, that fits that description. I know some of y'all may say, you talking crazy and everything. This is real talk. It's real talk. You got people out here dealing with this. You got people out here feel this way. And as a man, a single man, ain't nobody going to sit here and lie and everything. You want that love from a woman. And let me say something real quick here. I do want to say this. First of all and everything, there's something else I understand about this same-sex bullshit. What in the hell? You a damn man. Please tell me what in the hell pleasure you getting off messing around with some stinking-ass man. If you a woman and everything, what pleasure you getting out of messing with some damn woman? And first of all, I'm going to keep it real here. I'm going to go even more deeper with it. For all my men out there, particularly the men who are gay. 
I don't approve of it. I don't like it. And it is against God's will for you to be gay. I don't give a damn what America tells you. Please explain to me. And I got to keep shit real here. How are you laying up there being a punk with a man? When a woman's vagina is ten times, it's a million times better. Now you may say, man, oh Lord, listen what he said, but I'm speaking real talk to you. You sit there laying with some stinking at me. Don't you want a woman and everything when you come in from work smelling good, looking pretty, got her hair done, pretty eyes. Take, and then you, if y'all married and everything, you, you take the clothes, got beautiful breasts, beautiful behind, beautiful everything. The hell you need with some damn punk sitting up there with a damn pipe for been a shot, I've been a shot at that damn nigga. Nobody doing this shit ain't, this ain't locked down. What the hell is going on around here? And ladies and everything, how you sitting up there with a damn stud? What the hell you doing? Remember, I'm going to be keeping shit real here and everything. Ladies, your vagina and everything is a circle. A man's penis and everything is straight. You know, insert it's like you pump gas. Please tell me how in the hell everything, somebody, a woman going to satisfy you. Don't give me this shit by no damn strap on. I mean, what the hell? I know y'all may say you coming a bit strong and everything, but I'm telling you, this is stuff people deal with every day. God said man and woman. He made man, sex for man and women, particularly marriage and everything, for a reason. It's America and it's this world that perverted it. It's this world that perverted it. Go, if you a man, find you a woman to marry to. I promise you. I promise you, I'm keeping shit real with you and everything. I ain't never been no punk, ain't never been no gay, and don't hang with nobody that is. I ain't putting nobody down. This ain't making no fun of no gay community, but damn it, this shit ain't right and this shit's foul. On both sides, both men and women. If you sleeping with the same sex. Go sit here talking about taking these pills they got on TV, taking all this medicine and everything like this shit is okay. What the hell I need some ugly ass man up there for? You give me a woman any time of the day. Nobody got time for no sick shit like that. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to give you, here's the new challenge. For men out there that are gay, go sleep with a woman and let me know how that feel. For my women out there who are, go sleep with a man. You will find out and everything, the same sex won't please you like the opposite sex will. I'm just keeping shit real here. When you mess around with soul ties, you guys, you put it, every time you sleep with somebody, you get a piece of them and you and a piece of them a uh, piece of you and them. Quit sleeping around. Quit messing around. If you guys end up catching some or get somebody pregnant or unwanted pregnancy. Quit doing it. This shit ain't right. This shit ain't right. Quit doing it. If you don't stop doing everything, something's going to happen. Especially when you know better. Like I said, sex and everything ain't sin. It's natural for your body to want sex. God made you that way. But he said, do it and everything when you're married. He would prefer you to do it when you're married. Now, as I'm sitting there telling you, if you have sex, you're going to hell. I ain't got no heaven and hell to put you in. So get that shit out your mind. I ain't got no heaven and hell to put nobody in. But I'm just telling you and everything. Make sure, excuse me, make sure that when you go to search for your mate, when your body calling and everything forward and all that, Make sure you're doing it with the right person that God ordained for your life and that's your husband or your wife. I'm just telling you shit that's real. Just let you know. So, at the end of the day, you guys, don't be involved in unhealthy soul ties. You wonder why you got a better attitude? You wonder why you're picking up bad habits you probably never had? Because you let a piece of somebody get into your soul that had no business being there. I'm just keeping shit real with you. This is 19, you guys. I know it got a little splitting. It got a little, little bit of uncomfortableness, but that's what I'm about. Give it to you straight and not bullshit you. Let's make sure, like I said, if you don't want to be pregnant, the hell with some damn birth control. Keep your damn legs closed. Because you want the pleasure of sex, but you don't want the responsibility of sex or the consequences of sex. I'm just letting you know. It's for 19. Don't forget what I told you. I'm just speaking real shit to you. I ain't judging you. I ain't got no heaven or hell to put nobody in. Get that out your mind. But I'm just telling you what's right, and I'm telling you what's wrong. Okay? God don't approve of no two punks and no two dykes. He don't approve of it. It ain't me that's talking. You got to answer to God, not me. And it ain't no damn religion. This is Brother 19. Y'all be blessed. Y'all take care. 
make sure if you're going to sleep with somebody, you make sure you know what type of person it is. Make sure you know what they got in their soul. Because you might mess around be laying down sleeping with AIDS. You might mess around get pregnant by the wrong man and mess around have your life in turmoil. You might mess around and everything and uh, end up catching something that you can't cure. So I'm just letting you know. Be mindful what you're doing. I know she look beautiful. I know she smell good. I know you may think he handsome. He got big muscles. But when it come down and strip down to the clothes and everything, for all you know, that nigga, he might be packing a size one. You thought it was a size eight or nine. That nigga only packing a size one. Can't even get in there and work none now. I'm just keeping shit real with you. Same thing with her. You may get here, strip down the clothes, think you finna have a good time. You may find out she didn't even got a damn ass in plan. You may mess around and everything, find out that ain't her, that ain't her real breasts. And nowadays, you really gotta be careful. All these damn transgenders and all this shit and everything, you gotta be careful. You mess around, you a man, you think you finna go home and score and everything. You reach your hand down, you find something dangling, find out it's a damn man. You better be careful. I'm going to tell you like this and everything. Again, I'm telling you, God said, don't have sex and everything between man and woman until you get married. If you do, it's a sin. Don't commit adultery. But I'm keeping shit real here with you. If you're going to have sex, man or woman, I highly advise you to check up under that hood. And when I say up under the hood, you make sure if they a man, you make sure that they got a man part down there. And you make sure they was originally a man, not some damn transgender. Same thing with the woman. I'm just letting you know. People doing all wild kind of crazy shit nowadays. This ain't no modern day bullshit. I don't want to hear that. It's just 2022. We allowed to express. And if there's somebody ought to beat the shit out of you. I want to hear that bullshit. Take the sale of that shit somewhere else. So I'm just letting you know. Be mindful of that, y'all. Be mindful of that. If you don't, if you don't want to, if you don't want to pay the price. Then stop putting, then just stop messing around. And like I said in the beginning, if a woman love you enough, and she been hanging with you enough, and you find out that she really care about you, and she, let's just say, she open up for you, you deserve, it's demanded, truthfully demanded of you, you get her, you get married to her. But take time to know her. Before you work on going downstairs, make sure you know what's going on upstairs with her. Same thing with him. Before you want to get down, say, when I say down, I'm talking about, you know, it's having sex. Before you know what's going on down, so make sure you know what's going on up here with them. Ain't going on in here. Just let you know. Because a lot of men end up getting broken hearted. Because they thought they had some fine, it wasn't that. And a lot of women get broken hearted. So I'm just letting you know. It's Beretta 19. Y'all be blessed. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Put a drop a comment down if I, if I kept shit straight real for you. Drop a comment down if I kept shit straight, uh, straight real, like I always do. Let me know what y'all think. Take care.